Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 4 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Last episode, we ended up back in Moonbara, where uh, the Sisters Mara and Nara started their uh, journey. We're heading over this way because we were told that Ragnar, the hero from Chapter 1, uh, was over this way at uh, Kilon Castle. So, I'm gonna go try to find him, but this episode, we're just going to be uh, exploring uh, all the towns that the sisters visited. So we'll be uh, exploring this one in the daytime. Then we'll be going to Keeves, the village where the girls grew up. And then we'll be heading to uh, Kilon Castle. Not that we can do much there. But we will find an old friend there. Not Ragnar, though. And uh, then we'll head to uh, Hayville and then uh, at Kimo, the mining town. So we'll check all those out uh, during the day and during the night, so... I was just talking about Panon, reminding us that he's really, really funny. Like I said, that'll come into play uh, for a quest later on. I'm not gonna save that in this town with the shaman. They must be living happily together somewhere. They, uh, um, uh, yeah, this people just saw remind us that uh, Panon is really funny, and like I said, there'll be a, 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 like a side quest later on where we have to make a king laugh. So we can come back and recruit Panon to tell the king a, a joke to. Uh, get the king to laugh. No. But if, whenever we do that quest, we just have to like, come back here and uh, we can talk with Panin. Like I said, he'll be a temporary party member. You don't usually keep him too, too long. You usually just get him for that joke. But you can keep him because uh, for a while, because he does have the Sword of Lethargy, which can put uh, enemies to sleep. So, a pretty potent sword because of its uh, special effect. Like I mentioned in the last episode, uh, speedruns used a lot because, you know, they're, they're under-leveled because they're not spending a lot of time leveling. Uh, so to be able to put the boss to sleep so they can't attack you is, you know, a really good strategy. This guy asked us, did we come across the sea? We did come across the sea, but we went the, wrong, we went the, the opposite way. Uh, if we would have went uh, west from... Uh, Mintos, where we picked up Alina, Bray, and Christo, we would have passed by that uh, little island, uh, but uh, we didn't, but we'll see it uh, eventually later on. Not that we could have done anything there, because like the guy said, it's surrounded by mountains, so uh, it's kind of like Baramus' castle in uh, Dragon Quest 3, where we're going to have to fly uh, to get there, but we ain't going to have a bug this time. I'm gonna use science instead. I'm gonna talk with all these folks. And then we'll uh, head out to uh, head up to uh, the village keys and run into a few new enemies. Including these guys who are very, very annoying because they can cast the beat spell. What does the beat spell do? It instantly defeats one of your characters. And they just and I just cast it on uh, Alina there, so. We'll have to turn around, because remember in Keeves there's no, uh. uh there's, there's no, uh. Cl cleric there. So we can't revive there, uh. Or make a save. So we'll just make a quick turnaround real quick. Luckily we ran into this group, uh. right away. And when you, uh. don't have the hero in your, uh. party, you'll notice that, uh. You basically don't select anything. The characters just you, you select your tactics, and then your characters will just go on. We got a really good spell though that'll come in handy in the next uh, boss battle, uh, Blazemore. So it can do up to like 80 damage uh, on a character. So gonna be uh, really good, like I said, for the upcoming boss battle. For the upcoming boss battle, we'll get a little bit of extra dialogue if we bring Mara and Nara into the party. So, I'll eventually bring them into the party, but for now I'm just gonna use some of these characters, the three characters we just got, uh, actually the four characters, the, the four most recent characters, uh, so we've got Chapter 2's characters and Chapter 3's characters just all hanging out together here. So, put Taloon in the front because he has, like, the best armor and best defense. So, like I said, we'll bring, uh, we'll bring, uh, the hero Cosmo and uh, Marin Narratin for uh, the latter half of uh, this little uh, adventure on this continent. We 
for now we're just like visiting the old towns. We will uh, just, you know, use this party here. The other characters are gaining experience, like I said, Mara gained a level in the past, uh, because he, she was, uh, we got the wagon out, so people in the wagon still get things. You can actually change, uh, characters in battle. Uh, when the battle starts, there's a thing that says members, and you can select who you want uh, to be in your party, so you can select a, a character and then switch them out with somebody in the, uh, in the, uh, wagon. So, like, during the, uh, uh during the battle, say like, you know, Tulu jumped in the wagon and, uh, and Nara jumped out, or Nara jumped out, or Cosmo jumped out. So, I'm a traveling merchant. Until recently, I held the desert bazaar in the country of Santini. Hey, the bazaar's over. That's where uh, Prince Selena got uh, some stuff. We can get some good stuff here. Uh, speaking of Prince Selena, we want to buy uh, a cloak, two cloaks of evasion, one for Bray and one for uh, Elena. Uh, Mara already has that uh, address that she got uh, from the Padaquin Root Cave, so she won't need a Cloak of Evasion. Uh, the Cloak of Evasion is going to be good defense, uh, it's going to be better defensive power uh, for both Alina and Bray, and it comes with that uh, side effect that it helps uh, characters that have 20% chance to avoid attacks. Cosmo will get a new helmet there, the Iron Mask, and he'll be able to pass down his uh, Iron Helmet then to Christo. So yeah, pretty much everybody in uh, Chapter 2's party is getting uh, new armor. So, I wanted to make sure that uh, Christo could use that iron helmet. So, one way to find out, you can always have Taloon appraise an item, and he'll tell you all that you can use it, so. Christo and Cosmo, and then he says, I can be equipped with this, so. There we go. And I, uh, gonna transfer it, but I actually bumped the appraise again, so, yeah, Talon Loon has that extra appraise command, uh, everybody else, like, the second command would be the transfer, so, so all our characters from Chapter 2, like I said, getting a slight upgrade here, can't believe he's still wearing that wooden hat, even crazier, his Bray still has the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, leather armor. We got that in the uh, second town that uh, we visited with him, the, uh, where we uh, saved the the maidens from the, uh, being eaten by that uh, those monsters that came. I'm forgetting the name of the town offhand. Uh, where's that little like mountain village? We could buy if we want. Uh, if you have enough money, you can buy uh, a battle axe. It's slightly better attack power than the uh, uh, Sword of Malice, but uh, or just it's not that you know big of an upgrade. So I'm just gonna be saving my money because uh, once we get the uh, uh, magic key, uh, we'll be able to get to like probably one of the best armors in the game. But it's really expensive, and that's uh, down in Endor. So speaking of Magic Key, one of the guys uh, who we talked with earlier uh, basically said that uh, the Magic Key thinks that the alchemist Edgar had one. Edgar being Marinara's father, who was, uh, like that guy just said, was uh, murdered because he tried to stop the uh, Secret of Evolution from getting out. And there's uh, the dog that... Uh, uh, now it rescues the kid, Orva. Oh my, Porter the dog, or Porter, is very fond of you. Maybe it's just that you smell like a slime. You chatted with a slime recently? Not really, but uh, probably just smells like I said, uh, Nara and Mara. His owners. We'll talk with the slime though here. Don't hurt me, I'm not a bad slime. I remember Edgar had a secret laboratory somewhere else. If I remember correctly, it's in the Western Cave. I think you'll find a magic key there. So yeah, we're gonna have to head back to that uh, cave west of uh, Keeves, where we uh, recruited uh, Orin and got the Sphere of Silence in the uh, Sisters chapter, chapter 4. But before we do that, we're going to get some more information on that magic key by heading up to... Uh, and seeing why we need that key uh, by heading up to Keelan and then to Havel, the port town. 
here's that old friend I said. I'm a traveler named Healy. Please rescue Ragnar in the castle. Be the sneak in if you have a magic key. You may find something out in Hayville. So yeah, we need the magic key to get into this thing because we don't have an Orn on our party anymore, so he can't break the lock. It turns out that Healy, who wants to become human, I guess became human by traveling with humans. He is still traveling with Ragnar. So, or maybe he found the Staff of Change and was able to, uh, you know, turn into a human. To save a port town with ships bound for Ender Depart. The last ship set sail a while ago. Still got the eatery here. Most people still do the same stuff. King Balzac of Keelon appears even less often than before. Good for me, I can take it easy. Because we're going to find out that, uh, the person now who's, or well, the monster who's running on uh, the thing isn't, uh, Balzac anymore. It is, uh, Keelon. Uh, he was the, like, the lion-looking, uh, enemy that appeared after he defeated, uh, Balzac in Chapter 4. Uh, he was an impossible, uh, battle to beat back then, but, uh, now we'll be able to finally defeat him. But he's still kind of tough, so... That's where, uh, uh, Mara's gonna shine with her Blazemore spell. A lot of people visiting the prison these days, apparently. So. It seems true that the rule of evil will revive soon. I'm afraid we won't be able to take, um, a stroll at night anymore. And we're gonna learn that, uh, no more ships are gonna be leaving this, uh, town ever since the sisters left. After the gypsy sisters fled by ship, the king's regulation became even more strict. We may never see another ship leave this port. Uh, that's not gonna be good for the, uh, the old man, the grandpa down there, uh, to the south, because he's always, uh, wishing to go back to Endor. He's always saying that, like, apparently he, uh, fought in the Colosseum way back in the day. And he yearns to return there. My grandpa's here again. Ender must be dear to him, but we can't see it from here. Ender is to the, uh, northeast. We'll eventually go there, uh, later on. There's a lot of stuff to do in Endor. We pull up the, like I said, once we get the, uh, magic key, we'll like to go to Endor because there's a few magic key doors in Endor. And we saw a few of them when we in chapter 2 and 3. Uh, and one of them opens up a new, uh, armor store where we can get, like, one of the best armors in the game, at least in terms of, uh, defensive power. So we talked to all the folks at night, let's, uh, just, uh, stay here at, uh, the inn. Heal up and turn into day. Talk to some more folks. Where's Grandpa at? We mainly want to talk with this guy over here, because he gives more information about that magic key. Magic keys, such bizarre things, do exist. Unfortunately, I don't have one. They say alchemists can make one easily. I remember alchemists he used to live in the village to the south, Keeds. You know, because that's uh, Marinara's hometown. Just like in Chapter 4, uh, if we go there, uh, you notice when I went there uh, earlier and talked with the innkeeper, uh, he charged us money. There's like, it's 56 gold to stay the night. Uh, if you go there, though, with Marinara, uh, once again, uh, the guy will be like, hey, you're from this village, I can't charge you. So, we can always get free, uh, staying in that inn just by, uh, putting Nara and Mara into our party. And we'll do that when we, uh, head back there. We still have a little bit more things to do around here. Uh, unlike Keeves, uh, this, uh, weapon and armor shop hasn't upgraded its stock. That does learn that. No more ships are in service. Not good. So luckily we got the uh, last boat out of here. The sisters got the last boat out of here. I enjoy it. Thanks for coming to see me. We're only, only at night. Sorry we're not open yet. We'll head back to the uh, inn. There's a new guy staying there. He wasn't there in the day because we well, weren't there during the night because he was at the eatery. I'm here to see Joy, the girl who gave my brother the cold show. I'm convinced of how good he is. Oh. Being a good wingman for his brother. Nice. Alright. 
that wraps up uh, this town here. So we have another town to go to, that uh, the mining town. We'll eventually have to go there and uh, go deeper into the mine. Uh, later on, uh, the the miners will actually end up going deeper into the mine. And the miners are saying that like, hey, we're gonna keep digging, find gold. This house of prophecy, Ragnar, a soldier from Berlin, came searching for the hero. I told him what the hero looks like. The lights are glowing even more radiantly. So yeah, uh, but uh, one of the reasons why we're going there like right now to all these places is just to get them on our return list since we're basically in the area. Uh, we can get some new monsters and uh, we can fill out our return list so when we, the plot directs us to come back to this town, we can just warp. So use the return spell. So some phantom knights. Slightly uh, easier than those necrodain uh, skeletons that we unfortunately were able to summon with the Terminator card from uh, now is using the silver tower cards. It's really hard to get that uh, tower card though, because you can only get that after every other card has been drawn in a, in a battle, so you need one of those long drawn out battles. And uh, we're gonna learn something sad here. This is a Timo, a mining town. The man who was at the graveyard passed away too. Remember that guy? He was there was, uh, at that grave, he was uh, mourning his uh, wife. He was like, you know, I think I'm gonna join you too, honey. But apparently in the meantime, uh, since the end of chapter four, uh, I guess he used to came to the the gas and the foul gas has been coming out of the mine. Don't in the mine, you cherish your life. When the foul gas began spilling out, monsters appeared. You better flee at once or you end up like the person there. Sick. We could save our game here, but to just use the Lamp of Darkness. Let's see what it looks like at night. Pretty much the same. Uh, the uh, cleric won't let you uh, save the game at night because he's like, I need the rest. This lady's still going to let us know that uh, her grandfather is an uh, expert at gunpowder manufacturing, but there's no more gunpowder anymore because one, it's illegal, and the last bit that we got was in the mine. We used it to make that explosion sound to um, scare the council to reveal the uh, hidden room where the king hides. Where King uh, Balzac was hiding. But... So you mind him saying pretty much the same thing. They won't give up. And that's going to be unfortunate because they're going to uncover something even worse later on in the mines. Spears are tilted on us and... This guy, I guess the sisters must have taken his note with him because remember we searched his, when we talked to that uh, skeleton uh, with the sisters, uh, it said that he had a note on him and uh, it was one way saying that, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, my, my son and daughter are coming to visit me and uh, we banned for that couple, that uh, daughter and uh, the younger brother, uh, Pippin, I think was the younger brother's name. So we can't walk directly to Keeves, it's too small of a village to put on our return, so we'll just walk to Keylon, and then we'll just hike south real quick here. And when we get uh, into the village, we'll uh, end up switching out our party members. We have, to actually, we have to actually do it outside the village, yes. Uh, so once we're accessible to the wagon, change members. And then we'll put uh, Cosmo back in, and uh, yeah, Taloon can get a little bit of uh, experience in. Yeah. Well, nah, Elena. Yeah. She's a good critical hit rate, so that'll help on the upcoming boss battle. So this is probably the party we'll use for the boss, because one, we have Mara and Nara to get the extra dialogue with the boss, and uh, Alina's probably our best like, uh, physical fighter. She has that higher critical hit rate, uh, so she'll hit harder than Taloon, and uh, we don't have to worry about, uh, Taloon sometimes does those, uh, uh, those, uh, those gestures uh, that can, you know, potentially waste a turn. So I'm just to see if he still says the same thing with a new party member. Yep, same thing, and you had a secret laboratory. 
point us over to that cave again. Luckily, we don't have to explore the entire cave. We basically just have to go back to where we found our uh, oil. There's our little puppy again. Step out real quick. It's the easiest way to get out of the village. And like I said, if we have the sisters in our party, once again this guy will basically let us stay for free. You Echo Star, I can't take money from you. You found this village. There's no charge. Stay well. So we'll heal up, and this is where we'll start in our next episode before we head over to the cave west of Keys. Take care, have a good one, see you then. Bye.